he's so fluffy. Fluffy bum, fluffy. Hi guys, this is Steph from Ferret World. So good to see you today. Um, today I wanted to discuss vegan ferret food. Uh, we've kind of had a few discussions about it on the Ferret World Facebook page. If you haven't been there, you're missing out on a whole heap of fun. So make sure you subscribe to it. What I wanted to talk about today is vegan ferret food um, and whether or not you should feed your ferrets vegan ferret food. Um, I used to be a vegan and I noticed doing my research on vegan foods and um, I came across vegan ferret food and at first I was just like what the hell because I have had ferrets for quite a while and obviously know that they are obligate carnivores and shouldn't have vegan ferret food but I know that there are people out there that are researching their ferrets and um, haven't uh, don't realize that ferrets actually eat meat as part of their diet <laughs> Now I'm not creating this video to offend anyone and I believe that everyone is entitled to their own beliefs um, but I do want to make sure that I protect these little creatures and make sure that no harm comes their way in any way shape or form that I can and the best way for me to do it is via education and via this YouTube video so that is why I'm doing it I want to make sure that these guys don't suffer and they're being treated the way they need to be treated um, so that they can live happy and healthy lives now animals can't talk to us obviously these guys don't have a human voice and can't tell Tell us what we want to hear and what um, hurts them, what is what they don't like to eat, what they do like th to eat, what is affecting them internally. So we really need to base our knowledge about ferrets on science and I believe that veganism, it, a, a large part of it is based on science as well. So hopefully we're talking a common language here. Um, for example with veganism I know that you know a part of me that really um, was drawn to veganism when I was a vegan was uh, env environmentalism and the fact that if you're a vegan then you're contributing less to uh, damage to the environment that the meat industry produces or the fact that um, animals suffer uh, terribly in uh, factory farms um, and that's obviously something that we want to try to avoid as much as possible. Veganism, there's a lot of science around veganism, obviously there is science to and for, for and against but uh, there was some research that showed that veganism and mainly having a plant-based diet is actually better for humans um, and the way we feel internally and how we you know having a plant-based diet how it makes us feel um, and my parents were actually raw food eaters for two and a half years and one of the things that I noticed with my mum was that her hair which was completely grey before grew back uh, grey and nearly black which was kind of like a charcoal color which was absolutely incredible so just just seeing the effects of my mum's health my stepdad's health my grandpa's health when they were raw food vegans for uh, two and a half years really convinced me that that kind of a diet was right for me at the time as well so I always looked at proof why veganism was the right thing for me was the right thing for the environment and why it was the right thing for animals as well. <laughs> the other thing is that animals have a capacity for suffering as well because they do have a nervous system that is um, able to perceive pain and so we always need to take that into consideration with any animal um, not just ferrets or factory farm animals but any animal so that's something that um, vegans like to point out as well which is true and also the fact that we have a refined sense of morality as human beings and we can tell right from wrong um, in most cases so those are the things that drew me to veganism and that's why I became a vegan um, and I agree with those things um, but 
considering all of that, I would like to talk about why it's not appropriate to feed your ferrets a vegan diet. And we're gonna base this on science as well. So this isn't just my beliefs, this is based on science. And I just wanna make sure that um, vegans don't become what they're trying to fight against, uh, which is large corporates that take advantage of animals for the sake of profits, which a lot of companies, vegan ferret food or vegan uh, pet food companies seem to be doing now, which goes against everything that veganism stands for. So let me cover um, veganism and why vegan ferret food is not appropriate. Okay, ferrets. What, for one, are carnivores, are carnivores, aren't you? You're a carnivore. So they're not rats, they're not rodents, they, they actually eat meat. So carnivores mostly eat meat or flesh of animals. And sometimes carnivores are called predators as well. And the organisms that carnivores eat or hunt are called prey. Now there are a few different types of carnivores. The word carnivore is actually a, kind of like a classification of a variety of animals that eat meat in their diet. She's sticking her tongue out. <laughs> The subgroups or the different groups of carnivores include hypocarnivores. They have less than 30% of meat in their diet. Certain species of bears, for example, which can eat fish and berries. And I think they can, some, some bears can eat some grasses, but 30, less than 30% of their diet actually includes meat. The mesocarnivores, mesocarnivores, these guys depend on 50% of their diet to be meat meat based. So for example, foxes belong in this category because they eat meat, fruit, um, and fungi, 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 and berries. But 50% of their diet is made up of meat. Now hypercarnivores are animals that have more than 70% more than 70% of their diet made up of meat. And obligate carnivores actually fall under this classification as well. Um, although obligate carnivores, like the name suggests, only have meat in their diet. So these guys, are one of those animals that only should have meat in their diet and they include cats as well. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a ferret. Do, 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 do. Now, one feature of obligate carnivores like ferrets is that they can't actually digest plant materials. Their anatomy is completely wired for, di for only, to only digest meat meat belly. If they can't digest the food, then how are they going to be able to get the nutrients out of a plant-based diet in the first place? One thing that carnivores have that other animals don't have um, is that their digestive tracts are a lot shorter. So for example, their metabolisms are super fast um, and they require a lot of meat-based fat in their diet so that that they can get energy. Um, fat is their primary source of energy for a ferret. Unlike for humans, it's carbohydrates. Not for ferrets, they actually shouldn't have carbohydrates in their diet whatsoever. When food, when a piece of meat goes in through one end, through this end, it comes out the other end in about three hours. That's how quick their digestive systems are. This also means that because of their digestive tracts being so short, it means that they are actually incapable of breaking down the cellulose which is found in plant-based materials. They can't digest plants! Therefore, they need meat and meat-based products in the diet in order to survive and be at their optimum health. Feeding a ferret or even cats a vegan diet is actually animal abuse because you're going against how they're actually made up and can cause more harm than good. And, hey, and you're actually letting your beliefs get in the way of their optimum health 
which is not good. We should not subject animals to our own beliefs, as you know, as a vegan. So why would anyone feed a ferret or even cats a plant-based diet when science shows that they are incapable of getting the right nutrients and actually being healthy on a plant-based diet and it can cause to a myriad of different diseases um, and problems for the ferret so it's really really silly to feed them a vegan ferret diet if you are consciously deciding to feed ferrets or cats for that matter a vegan diet then you are consciously choosing for them to feel pain and suffering because their bodies are not made up for that kind of stuff. See those teeth? These animals are specifically built to eat meat. Yum yum. If you consciously choose to still feed your ferrets or your cat a vegan based diet after knowing all these facts, then you are essentially, your refined sense of morality has just been flushed down the toilet. Just like that. If you simply cannot cope with living with a carnivorous or an obligate carnivorous animal um, then maybe you shouldn't get one um, if you can't feed them meat and meat meat based and a meat based diet then perhaps it's worth looking at a herbivorous animal um, bunnies are cute so maybe a bunny or anything else that will be appropriate and in line with your own values and your own beliefs. But please do not cause ferrets suffering, unnecessary suffering and pain and please don't make your, your animals suffer for the sake of your beliefs. It's just not right. It is morally and ethically not right and any company out there that says that they have done tests and you know ferrets have survived for years on the vegan diet you know what you have just become exactly what you started off as noble cause thinking that animals don't have to eat meat um, these animals actually do you you've become what you've been fighting against you have subjected your animal you have subjected animals to your beliefs and therefore are causing them pain and suffering for the sake of profits congratulations so please if you are a vegan I know that there there are some incredible vegans even in the ferret world community who even though they're vegans they don't subject their animals to their own beliefs and I really admire this because they feed their ferrets meat they look at the facts um, understand the science behind why ferrets need meat and they feed them a species appropriate diet and I really admire people who do that because they're not subjecting their animals to their own beliefs um, if they're not appropriate so um, if you are one of those vegans thank you thank you so much for being true to your cause and true to your beliefs and for doing the right thing by these animals I think you're fantastic and thank you so much for doing the right thing and for being a part of the ferret world community you are always always welcome if anyone would like to learn more about appropriate ferret diet then join the ferret world community there is another wonderful ferret group uh, and ferret forum online which is called the holistic ferret forum who specialize in transitioning ferrets onto a meat-based diet um, which makes ferrets healthier and happier and more hydrated and joining the ferret communities and learning and educating yourself about what you've actually gotten yourself into into an obligate carnivorous animal and if you are doing Doing research by watching this video and you're thinking well oh, I'm a vegan and I don't know if I can live with a obligate carnivore because it goes against what I believe in then just get yourself a different animal um, 
there are plenty of beautiful animals that are available that are in line with your values and your beliefs um, and having a ferret might not be one of them having a cat might not be one of them having a dog might not be one of them but there are plenty of animals that are in line with your beliefs and I'm sure that you can take beautiful care of them too and if you are a vegan who is going one of those Nazi vegans that still is going to punish and make their um, obligate carnivorous animals suffer for the sake of your beliefs I don't know what else I can say I know there is some really stubborn vegans out there who just will not listen to the facts and you're just doing exactly what you're fighting against and I just feel sad for you and I feel really sorry for your obligate carnivore animals because they're suffering. You might not see it now. Um, they can't talk to you to tell you how they're feeling when they eat the food. Um, and you probably don't even know the signs of a healthy ferret and what a really healthy ferret is anyway. Um, so you can't say that your ferret has survived it's not it's not just about the qu the quantity of life that ferrets survive it's also the quality and a healthy species appropriate obligate carnivorous uh, diet will give ferrets a higher quality of life so I am going to leave you on that note and thank you for watching today's video. If you would like to learn more about um, your ferrets and get more information about taking, care, taking proper care of your ferrets then visit the Ferret World website. Also join the Ferret World community on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest um, and subscribe to the Ferret World newsletter by going to the website and you will receive, once you subscribe, you will receive the ferret first aid and emergency care ebook for subscribing which is all yours for free which I wrote with my vet and it helps you make sure that you uh, recognize the sign of illness disease and when it's time to rush to the vet uh, and have your ferret looked after so on that note I'm going to love you and leave you duk, duk. Take a look at...